Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, you can tell that the recording area is a little bit different. It used to be right there with that as the background, and I decided that I kind of wanted to switch it up so I could show off some of the shoes. And I'm gonna hang up some skateboards and put some shelves up so I can put up some Supreme accessories and just all of my stuff that isn't displayed right now, and I really wanna display it and it'll be pretty cool. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, consider subscribing. Uh, I got a bunch of content coming out and it's gonna be a lot of fun, so stick around and check it out. Today, we're looking at a pair that I literally just got in the mail. I skipped the unboxing from the Nike box, but I haven't actually looked at them yet and I'm really, really excited to look at them. So we'll just get right into it. So these came out on February 10th and they had a retail price of $200, which is $30 higher than most Jordan 1s. It's a premium for them. You can see I got the size nine. It's right there and you can see I got the size nine and the MSRP is $200. I'm not sure if my camera's gonna pick that up, but trust me, it's 200 bucks. So this is interesting. I've never seen the Jordans wrapped up this way. Usually it's just the piece of paper you fold over and then it's there, but this is wrapped up in its own paper. All right, there they are. So these are really, really nice. And I am super stoked that I was able to get them. This is strange. So now it has this paper and it's just kind of like thrown in there on top. It's not even like wrapped around, but each shoe is wrapped individually. So I don't know, maybe that's normal for a premium Jordan. I don't normally honestly hit on these and I got super lucky on these. I actually won these on the sneakers. Get that out of the way for now. I actually got these from the sneakers app and I actually also won them on a kith raffle, but I wasn't able to make it and it's really sad. I've never not picked up a raffle win before and my heart hurts because I would have loved to have doubled up on these. They are, honestly, they're really plain. Like it's just a white and gray shoe. It's super plain. But that's what's honestly really cool and nice about them is it's just so subtle. <laughs> they're, they're nice and this is pretty, pretty cool. So it has the gray laces and then it has a hang tag like the old OG pairs. So that's super dope too. Very nostalgic. I'll show that in the B roll. So what makes these a special pair is that this colorway has not been retroed ever. So the last time that they were released was in 1985 and now it's 2021 and this colorway finally got a retro on it. And that's, that's dope. Like we haven't had this colorway in forever and people are really, really liking it. The resale on these is over $500 in my size. So this is gonna be a shelf piece for me in the background, like I was just talking about, I'm probably gonna have this pair and some off-whites and whatever, but we'll definitely do an odd foot for these because they're just too dope not to. So one of the design elements that they brought back was the, the heel shape. They made it more narrow like they used to be, which I'm gonna grab another pair so that we can look at it. All right, so technically these are a women's pair, but they're the same. And you can definitely, I can already tell, look at how much wider the lucky greens are than these. That's a huge difference. They're so much more narrow, but I don't honestly really care about that that much. It's just really dope to finally have a retro of an OG colorway. And these are really high quality. Another thing that they changed, I I guess they made the, the wings more detailed and they are definitely more like pronounced and it's kind of shiny still in that neutral gray colorway. 
whereas this is just more of like a stamp on there. It's all white leather. The whole upper is white leather. And then along the ankle collar, there's some gray suede as well as the swoosh is this gray suede on both the lateral and the medial sides. Really, there isn't a whole lot of stuff to talk about. Like this is pretty much an all white shoe. So I, I'm not gonna go too deep into it. You can see what it is. They're beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna be really scared to wear these because they're gonna get trashed like absolutely trashed and they're just too nice to let them get completely ruined. So this will probably be a special event shoe where I don't really wear it unless I'm feeling fancy. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing. Leave a like, it really does help a lot. Leave a comment. If you are on my Instagram, you probably saw that there was a poll and I got these as well as the clots that just released. And you guys voted for these over a hundred times and the clots only got like 10 votes, 20 votes. So I didn't get a huge amount, you know, I'm kind of still a small channel and small Instagram, but it was pretty, surprising to me how many more people really like these over the clots. So I should be getting the clots in a couple of days and I'm really excited to do a review on those. So subscribe if you're interested in that. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck on your next cop. Take care.